tell me what, be, be the person who's going to be uh, candid about the challenges uh, dealing with a, an evacuation plan about, um, uh, Indian Point in particular, uh, since that happens to be the closest to where my constituents live. I'll start you out. Uh, if you're on the east side of the Hudson, you either have to go up to the Tappanzee Bridge down, I mean, get to the Tappanzee Bridge, go to the other bridge north of that, I guess, um, or um, head, head east. Uh, the problem that you head east is what? The, the concern, of course, is uh, understanding where you might be affected. And let me point out that uh, the predominant wind flow directions from around Indian Point are in the Hudson River Valley because of the topography of the valley. 95% uh, of the time, the wind flow is in the Hudson Valley regardless of the incident wind direction. So people from the east, people on the east and people on the west are at substantially less risk than you might think because of the prevailing weather conditions. The, uh, but, but most of the population is east of the Hudson, correct? That is correct. And they, they're not going to likely go west. They're going to have to all go east, correct? correct? I mean, isn't one of the challenges we have that people will be tripping over each other? in their effort to get out? I think the presumption perhaps that they're operating under is that, and you should tell me, is that all people within the area would have to evacuate. We believe, based on the, the, the physics of plumes, that the people who would be affected are really very few uh, because of the nature of the plumes. And if one understands plumes, and this gets back to my point earlier made in my testimony about the need for education and public outreach, when that is clearly understood, when you realize that a plume is like the smoke from a smokestack, it's not different in terms of its shape and size, you may have some confidence about the actions that you can take. It's only when you believe that the whole area is going to be instantaneously or very rapidly affected that you believe that you have to evacuate those large areas. Such is not the case. So for us, for me in particular, education is critical in this matter when we understand the hazard, when we understand the nature of the risk, we're better able to deal with it. Uh, and I think that, uh, in the, so in the example that you point, people living to the east, it's very unlikely that they would have to move at all to avoid the risk. They might choose to move because they would be concerned, but they would not have to. 